Hi everybody, this is Andreas from UFX Loops and in this final part of our getting started tutorials I'll show you some tricks how to manage and beautify your projects. At first we want to move a slot from one position to another. We are doing this with a long click and then choose move slot and then we can select an empty slot and the slot is moved. Um, we do the same with the other slot. So we have our drum section in the first row now and now we colorize the first row by again long clicking on a slot and then choose slot color and have that in a nice light blue. And why we moved that slot to the bottom left is that we want to create another sample in it and this should be our effects slot and we want to overload it with effects. So we want to add a sonar ping effect, a nice submarine effect and we adapt the slot to have 8 bars and um, for the sonar we also take 8 bars so it will only be once in 8 bars whilst the crash should hit every 4 bars in that slot. I adjusted the pitch of that sonar also a bit. So it sounds a bit higher now. And now we want to work even more with the project and do a lot of changes. Um, but before we do that it's a good idea to make a backup of that project. So we go back to the project list and um, do a long click on the project. And here you see you can copy and export the project. We first do a copy and um, just type in a new project name and then save it to have a copy. But you can also export the project to a project export file, including all project samples except the community samples, which can also be downloaded from the community. And this will save all settings. And everybody having that file would be able to import your project with the import button. Let's get back to our project now and do some fancy things. At first we would like to add the distress signal from the first tutorial to our drum loop. Have that playing every second bar. and adjust the volume a bit. Next we add some more samples to our effect slot. And 
for the door slam to set the start bar to three quarters. Now we want to add one more melodic instrument, which should be a guitar. So um, we go back to the instrument section and pick melodic and um, type in our guitar. And I already prepared a sample, which is a muted guitar, which I want to use as our instrument sample that one and I pick it and I pick a bigger note range this time so I'm I will be quite flexible when I want to change the octave and, and things um, however if the sample is pitched too high it might not sound that well in we have to know that when we do that adjust the volume a bit and our guitar is ready to play and I want to show you the patterns button with the patterns button you can directly create a pattern template when using that from the main menu and um, by doing so this template can be used in all projects and of course every project pattern can be saved as a template so we make a little melody here which you might be familiar with. Hmm. That should sound a bit nicer. So we will make 8th instead of 16th. So the muted sound of the guitar comes quite better. Now we adjust the dynamics of that pattern because that pattern is quite important so um, we will do a bit fine tuning for it. Okay. Now we give that a pattern name because it's a template now and save it. And then when you go back to patterns you will find that in the list and we can use it in the project as follows we just add a new slot and press melodic and then instead of creating a pattern we just load it and save it in the slot. I'll leave the remainder of this tutorial mainly uncommented. Just listen to the music and enjoy while we fine tune a bit of the project.
Thank you for watching these getting started tutorials. Now you're ready to create your own project with your FX loops. We would be glad if you share these skills on YouTube and soon we'll extend our community features that you can upload your own projects and instruments and share them with a broader audience. Thank you.